Letterman brought you up, and I said, "I'm going to tell you everything that happened on my end. I'll start okay. with my end because my end is a good prelude to your end." Okay. I'm getting ready to shoot my special. I'm super OCD about when I get when I'm when pressure's on. I start making bets with myself and rules with myself, and just to I don't know. It's a way to I guess cope with the stress. I don't. I'm not really sure. Yeah. I need to find a penny. Uh, I need to roll sixes, and and a lot of times I'll do little things in my head. So we're going out to lunch. Uh, Leanne doesn't have a coat that she likes, and she is complaining about her coat. So she's, I was like, "We'll get you a new coat," and and I'm and I'm feeling sick at the time. My throat's hurting, and I go, I go, man, I would love if this restaurant has chicken noodle soup, and uh, and I was like, "All right, if they have chicken noodle soup, I'll have great taping. If they don't have chicken noodle soup, then I won't have great taping." Was this the day of your taping? Yeah, it was the more the afternoon. This is my brain, and so. The lady comes up right next to my head and she goes, what are you going to have? And I said, what's the soup of the day? And she whispered over here, chicken noodle soup. And I fucking started laughing hysterically. And everyone's like, what's so funny? I go, nothing, nothing, nothing. So now in my head I go, that doesn't mean for sure, but that means we're in the right direction. So I go to get Leanna a coat and I put on a ridiculous coat. Uh, I ended up buying it. I put it on my Twitter. I put on a ridiculous quote. And I'm it. feeling good. I'm feeling good. And as I put it on, I go, Leanne, what do you think? And I get a text from you, check your messages. And so I go to check my messages, I hit play, and it's a message from David Letterman. Hey, Bert, I'm sitting here with Neil Brennan, it's Dave Letterman. Uh, I just want you to know that uh, I'm, I'm really happy, I'm really excited about two things. Number one, that uh, you think that you couldn't not perform with a shirt on. Uh, I think that's so interesting. And secondly, that you made dot, dot, dot amount of money last year. Um, Congrats on all the success, Dave Letterman. I'm wearing this jacket. I'm getting ready to shoot my special that night. I'm with my wife, and I go, I'm buying this fucking jacket. This is the jacket I listened to that David Letterman. This is the greatest email. And so then I go there to that taping. Joanna's there. I tell Joanna, I'm fucking having a great day. How you doing today? I'm having a great. All that energy moves you to have a great show. So that energy. That's so great. That dude. energy, that voicemail couldn't have come at a better cry. time in like, my it's life. A little, it's like a little. <clears throat> All right, so here's what led up to that. There's a guy named Bert Kreischer. Yeah, I know Bert. That's all I need to see. He's going to be so excited that you know who he is. I, and and I, he came to my attention a couple of years ago uh, because he's not wearing a shirt. Mm -hmm. And then I thought, oh, it, I must have come in halfway through the show and he auctioned his shirt off <laughs> or something. But now, uh, subsequently, he's always without a shirt. And I've asked people who should know what's that all about he's like a part he likes he's the literally the life of the party he's like he love it's remember like spuds mckenzie <laughs> he's yes. like spuds mckenzie but, but, that's a huge compliment. Right Neil, would you go to a party if you knew guys were going to have their shirts off i mean i wouldn't <laughs> but that's not but i had to do a show about what's wrong with me yeah. So I, it's not, he's, the, that party element, people love partying. But, 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 but he will put his shirt on one day. Well, you know, he's got the showbiz thing where he's like, do they only like me because I don't wear my shirt? He's got his own dumb no. self-doubt. No, is that true? Swear to God. <laughs> it's show business. So he, he is completely invested in his own hook. And without that. <laughs> He, well, now he's like, do they? Act, am I actually funny? He's got a movie coming out, and he wears a shirt through most of it. And I'm sure he's like, are they going to hate me for wearing a shirt? Uh, that's it's show business. We're all self now. Do you ever think? Now this is this is revelatory. I I'm thank you. That story is delightful. <laughs> that story is delightful because in my mind I'm thinking. I'm the best looking guy in here without a shirt, you know. But that's no, not it at all. No, he's a big. He's got a big fat stomach. Yeah. He's in horrible shape, but he's he, got a big fat. If he's in good shape, he can't take a shirt off. Right. Then so, it's not funny. So he would think that if he put a shirt on, people would stop going to see him? Uh, yes. <laughs> of course. People yeah, are just course. the best. Yeah, aren't they? We're like endless. we will defeat ourselves. Yeah, that's Does right. Does not matter. No, I, I think you're right. I think uh, hum humanity is its own worst enemy and comes up with new and crazy ways to prove that each and every day. Yes. Now, have you ever thought, I'm tempted to call Bert. I'm gonna call Bert, cause he'll he will. Absolutely you you know my brain very well. Love this, that you know who he is and 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 are questioning. And what what are the chances that you're actually gonna get him on the phone? I don't. I think talking about David Letterman. Where, where is talking about now. He lives. He has two houses. 
<laughs> in fact, this is how well the shirt thing's going. They just bought a third. <laughs> wow. So, yeah, that's Bert. Well, see, this represents what I know about comedy in this generation. The industry of it, the commerce of it, is so far more than it was when I started. The, there was a list of what comics made last year. Want to guess what he made on the road? Well, I, I have no idea. $25 uh, so, million. Dollars. I'm sorry, how many? $25 million. <laughs> Bert did. Yes. Oh, my God. Good for him. Yeah. Hold on. Let's get him on the phone. <laughs> let's see what this could. This is like a radio contest. Oh, do you want to leave a message for him? Yeah. Oh, this is fucking great. Hi, Bert. Uh, it's Neil Brennan and uh, Dave Letterman, and we're talking about you and uh, the fact you don't wear a shirt. Uh, and I was delighted and pleased to know two things. One, that you think without the shirt or without without the shirt, people wouldn't like you. The best message and I've also, ever gotten in my life. Last year on the road, you and made Johnny twenty-five Depp called million. Me. So all my best and congratulations. That's fucking great.